It's today's Variety 101.9, The Mix. It's McCabe and Jenny inside the Mix New Music Club. And today joined by singer, songwriter, actor from Los Angeles, Jake Miller. How are you, my man? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. I mean, I was looking at your story. You had a big night last night. You were at the premiere of uh, Holiday Twist at Chinese Theater. Yeah, yeah. Big night. First movie of mine. Um, I got to act and sing in the movie, and my parents flew across the country to come to the premiere. So it's a really fun night. Definitely like a bucket list moment for us. How did no. you get into all of that? Like this, you're being your first time acting. I've been auditioning for movies for years now. I've probably auditioned for 60, 70 movies. But um, this one happened in a really funny way. This guy came to one of my shows and snuck backstage and said he's like a music supervisor for like 80 movies per year and he's working on this movie and my voice would be perfect for one of the songs and I pretty much said I'd love to do it as long as you could try to get me in with the director and have her write me in like an acting role and so uh, I met the director at the studio she you know we hit it off and she wrote me in a little role so it was really cool. I mean, 60, 60 auditions. Come on, Jake Miller. I would think you would be already like launched into some TV show or a bunch of movies. <laughs> yeah, I would think that too. I haven't, I haven't like taken any like proper acting lessons or anything like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm really focused on my music as you probably know. So, um, but I, I definitely plan on diving into it more and practicing more. And hopefully this is kind of like the first step into, you know, hopefully getting more films. Well, I'm excited to see it. I see it comes out December 1st and it's a Christmas musical comedy film. Can you give us like a brief overview of what it's about? Yeah, absolutely. I saw it for the first time last night. I didn't even get to see it early, but it's basically about, um, you know, a woman who's working too hard her whole life and focusing too much on work and not spending enough time on her family and, um, you know, her friends and something happens along the way where she kind of gets her her sense knocked into her and you know the spirit of christmas kind of comes along and makes her realize what's important so it's a really good feel good movie and uh yeah as i said i have a, a song at the end of it and it's kind of like a whole full fledged like music video of mine at the end of the at the end of the movie which is pretty cool well i think like this the difference from you being on stage which i'm guessing that's like your comfort zone you're there and now you're at the first premiere in la of a movie that you're in i mean what is that moment like when you see yourself on screen you have your parents sitting next to you um and you're just in that theater yeah it was crazy it was it was like a lot to take in i actually had a headache the whole movie because i think i was <laughs> like there was too much happening but um but it was awesome. I had my fiance to the right of me. I had my parents to the left of me. I had like my managers and my friends in the row behind me. It was, it was a really cool experience. We all got to, you know, dress up and it was a real proper premiere at the Chinese theater, which is one of the most iconic theaters in the world. So mm -hmm. it was really cool. Now I got to ask, since you're in your first movie and it happens to be a holiday movie, what is your favorite holiday movie of all time? I would say Elf. I think Elf. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the top of everyone's list. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more one more holiday movie question. Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2? Listen, I've probably only seen both of them one time each. I'm Whoa. I'm not like my fiance gives me so much crap because like I haven't seen so many classic movies, but I believe the first one is better. <laughs> I agree. Um I'm not sure I, if I've even seen the second one, so the first one's better. <laughs> That's a well, good choice. Not only have you been busy acting, but you just finished your The Note to Self US tour and you made a stop here in Chicago and back in September at Subterranean. What was your favorite memory from touring? Um, the whole tour was awesome. This tour was special because we started in Asia. We did all of Japan and China with, for the first time ever. Um, so just, you know, having three countries in one tour um, was just really special. And it was so different from the US, obviously. Um, we were doing like 50,000 people festivals out there. And and then obviously coming back to America and playing these cities that I've been playing for 10 years and, you know, so much love from these fans who keep coming back and back every year. So um, I love Chicago. I always love playing in Chicago. So it's, it's always just fun seeing everybody there. And I mean, balancing it all out. Okay. You're, you're prepping for a movie, you're on tour, get engaged. How did you do it? Like, how did the engagement go? Um, so I basically I did it on her birthday last year. So it, it's coming up to almost one year since the engagement. Um, but I basically surprised her with like all these kind of like envelopes and clues on her birthday throughout the day that kind of like 
ultimately led her to a stretch limo, taking her to Santa Monica Beach. And when she got there, it was a long, you know, kind of carpet with roses and flowers and, you know, just this awesome thing on the beach. And then to top it all off, we we went to dinner and then I said, oh, we're going to go to karaoke because that's the only thing she wanted to do on her birthday. And we pop into this karaoke bar that she didn't know that I rented out and all of our friends and family from Florida were there and surprised her and her parents were there and all of her best friends. And we just had the best, best night ever. I'm going to write notes on this. Okay. Limo, <laughs> beach, uh, karaoke yeah, exactly. bar. <laughs> Step one. You, you said that she's inspired um, a lot of music that you've recently written. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. For sure. I mean, I'm just inspired by whatever, you know, I, I live in my real life. So I just kind of take pieces from everything and yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Well, that brings us into your new song, which is out now, I See Ghosts. Uh, tell us about the story behind this song. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly pretty hard these days to write sad and heartbreaking songs because I'm not going through anything sad and heartbreaking. But the people want to hear sad songs, and I love making them. Um, I wrote this one with um, Kevin and Dan, who are my bandmates, actually. This is the first song we've ever written together. So right when we got back from Asia, we got into the studio, and we're like, why don't we ever write songs together? And yeah, we just ended up coming, you know, it was it was originally called uh, Dancing With Your Ghost. And then um, we just kind of tweaked it for a while and it, it turned out to to be this kind of like um, hyper pop. I think that's the word. It's like kind of like a new genre, like hyper pop okay. type um, type of song. So, yeah, I'm really excited for everyone to, to hear it and see the visuals. And yeah, it's going to be cool. Now, you've been making music for over a decade. When I first heard of you, it was with your collaboration with Travi McCoy. Uh, I think that was yeah. back in like 2014. And since then, you've performed alongside some pretty cool artists, Sean Kingston, Mac Miller, Flo Rida. What is like something that you've learned from an artist you got to perform with or alongside? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think I've just like learned from just from watching people like, how I want to be perceived as an artist from other artists. Like I was backstage with Asher Roth, like at the very beginning of my career. And he was just like, so cool and low key. And like all he had on his rider backstage was like a can of tennis balls, just because him and his friends wanted to like throw a tennis ball around. Um, and then I've been <clears throat> in green rooms with people who are like super bougie and, you know, demanding. And it just kind of just watching some artists have, have taught me like how I want to, how I want to be looked at by other people, I guess. Well, I got to say, like, we we briefly saw you um, at the House of Blues uh, when you were on tour with Jake and you came upstairs. Your parents were like in the booth and you were just super cool. Like you wouldn't even know when you just got off the stage. You were like hanging out and like taking the time to talk to people, which just I don't know. It just shows how down to earth and like just nice you are. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> your parents are great also. <laughs> yeah, I agree. yeah, they just left my house about 15 minutes ago to fly back to Florida. Now, with the holidays coming up, like Thanksgiving, do you go back home and do you guys do like a big spread? And do you have like a special meal that you kind of bring to the table? I don't do any cooking, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do fly home every year for Thanksgiving. Wednesday night is kind of the night that all of our friends go out. And then Thursday, obviously, is Thanksgiving. And it's always hosted at my parents' place. And, you know, probably 20 to 30 family members come. And it's great. A lot of great food. And then my birthday is like two days later. So it's a it's a great time of year for me. And do you have anything planned for the new year? Are you working on some more new music? Is there a big project coming? Always new music. Um, probably no album for a while. I just want to kind of put out one song a month, you know, being independent. I can do that now. And um, I also just got a call yesterday that I'm going back to China like two or three days after Thanksgiving for this cool like New Year's performance in China. So I'll be going from Florida um, I have a couple weddings in the next few months from our friends and next year is crazy busy with wedding season as well. Obviously ours as well, our wedding too. So yeah, it's going to be a great, great next year and a lot of music, hopefully more movies and a lot of fun, fun stuff. You know, I, I saw like when you were in uh, China, I think last, I mean, it was one of like the biggest crowds that you were a part of. I mean, yeah. what is it like being up on stage with a sea of people like that? Yeah, the, there was one show where it was 50,000 people and it was, I think it was like the coolest moment in my whole career. It just looked like a, like a never ending sea of people. And I was the only American on every single one of those festivals. So like, it was just a really cool reaction to, to see how like, you know, that side of the world reacts to 
to my music and I'm very familiar with like what it's like to perform in America and it's just so different than performing over there and everyone's just so polite and just so happy to be there no like egos no one's in the crowd judging it just feels like such a great environment at all those shows and then the headlining shows were like a thousand people plus which is crazy because those are some cities I've never even heard of before going there how did your Chinese fan base start for you um was it participating in festivals and then eventually developing that no this was that was my first time ever playing shows there I didn't think anybody would be at the shows um I think some of the songs over the last couple of years, like Days and Confused and Rumors and Parties, like very random songs in my mind, you know, songs I made five years ago are like now blowing up there and like blowing up on TikTok and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's it's really funny, like performing all my new stuff and then I'll perform like a random song that I don't even play in America and like they go crazy for it. I was going to say, is that kind of weird? I mean, you're like, okay, I've done these songs, but then you go over there and it's like, it's like a whole new experience. Yeah. It makes me like kind of fall in love with the songs all over again and like makes them feel more like important, I guess. Yeah. What was your favorite experience in China? Like aside from the tour, like, did you get to explore at all? Oh yeah. Lots of exploring. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a translator who just kind of took us around and we ate some crazy stuff. And um, yeah, I, I would say just like the off time in general, we didn't do anything like that comes to mind just besides like walking around and exploring, seeing temples, seeing, you know, museums, doing like hot pot dinners. And it was it was definitely different for all of us. Well, now, like in your downtime, is it in like full wedding mode for you? Because Jenny, Jenny's married. She's been through like, I'm sure the planning and all of that. I have not never been married. What is like so far <laughs> the thing you're like, oh, my gosh, there's there's so much to do. We're pretty much done uh, planning. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have about seven months left. We got started pretty much ASAP with a wedding planner. And between the wedding planner and my fiance, who has had everything planned out since she was four years old anyway, you know, we pretty much just like know exactly what we wanted. And um, we kind of went all out on the venue. Everything else is going to be kind of, you know, minimal. But the venue is just really gorgeous. And we're really excited about it. It's kind of like this big like winery villa castle in the middle of uh, California. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. But we're pretty much done planning. And, and as an do artist, do you, perf will you perform at your own wedding? No, definitely not. <laughs> and I told the DJ that all my songs are on the do not playlist. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jake, for taking the time. We're looking forward to seeing all of your new music that comes out. And again, your song, I See Ghosts. I um, can't wait to hear it more on the Mixed New Music Club. Cool. Thank you guys so much.